I wanted to model a crown for a while and finally decided to make one. It might seem easy, but I recommend you following each step carefully. Otherwise you might run into shading issues or positioning problems when using array modifiers. Please subscribe and leave a like if you find my tutorials useful and let's begin. Press numpad 1 for front view and shift A to add a plane. Align it to view and position it like so. You can see from item info that rotation is not zero. Press Ctrl A and apply rotation. I'm gonna enter edit mode and press X to delete only faces. Let's select these top two vertices and subdivide. Do the same for the bottom. Move this top middle vertex down and press Shift Ctrl B for vertex bevel. Increase number of vertices until it looks smooth like this. Now you want the same number of vertices for the bottom. Select all and press Ctrl F to choose grid fill. Let's add a few loop cuts. Add the array modifier in object mode and enter 12 for count. Apply it and select all in edit mode and press M to merge by distance. Next add a solidify modifier and increase thickness to about 0.11. Then add a simple deform modifier and select bend in the z-axis, angle should be 360 degrees. Right click to shade auto smooth, apply the simple deform, and we want to merge by distance again to get rid of this ugly line. Let's set the origin to geometry and move it to world origin from top view. I'm gonna take a moment to change viewport shading options for you to see better. Let's rotate the crown 45 degrees in the z-axis so this point sits right in the middle. I'm gonna add a plane again for the diamond shape. Align it to front view again and rotate 45 degrees. Don't forget to press Ctrl A and apply rotation. I'm gonna snap the bottom point to this outer vertex like this. Let's set the origin point to 3D cursor to get ready for the array modifier. Make sure rotation and scale are set to 0 and 1. What we now need is an empty to use as the array object. Add the array modifier, uncheck relative offset and check object offset, then select the empty as the object offset. Change count to 12 and for the empty, enter 30 degrees for Z rotation. Select the diamond, then the crown base and choose copy to selected from this drop down. This adds the solidify modifier to the diamond shape. Apply the solidify but don't apply the array modifier yet. I want to inset and extrude this face first. I just remembered I didn't apply rotation for the base before. This will cause problems later so let's do that now. I also want to add a bevel modifier and these are my settings. Control 1 to add a subsurf. Add it to the diamond shape as well. We are basically done, so it's wise to make backup copies of your objects before applying all modifiers. 
I usually just convert the object to mesh for this. Let's position these better. Select both and press Ctrl J. I'm gonna use proportional editing now. Shape yours somewhat like this. Next part is just adding details so I'll make it go fast. All I'm doing is selecting a loop to duplicate and separate, convert it to a curve and increase bevel depth. Let's add more details by drawing a curve on the surface. You have to add a curve path first, then go into edit mode to select all and delete. Then choose this draw tool and click on active tool settings to select surface instead of cursor. I've just pasted this curve object I made before to use it as the bevel object. You can make yours whatever shape you wish, just make sure it's a curve not a mesh. Press Ctrl 2 to add a subsurf for smoother look, but the shape doesn't look right. Go into edit mode, select all and adjust this mean tilt. For me, 90 was the right amount, but it might be different for you. Press Alt S to change thickness. And this is what I got after some tweaking. I'm gonna convert the curve to mesh. It's a good habit to check your normals time to time. If something is red, go into edit mode, select all and press alt n to flip or recalculate your normals. It'll save you from frustration down the road. Let's duplicate the shape and scale it minus 1 to flip it to the other side, and join the shapes by pressing Ctrl J. Make sure everything looks peachy and set the origin to 3D cursor. Then add another empty like before to set up the array modifier and we're finally done. Hope this was a fun exercise for you and made you improve your Blender modeling skills. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Have a great day guys.